Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News, and today I'm going to talk about MDT. Yes, another Microsoft Deployment Toolkit version has come out, and it's 2013. Now, this version basically supports uh, deploying Windows 7, Windows 8, and also Windows 8.1 family operating systems. Awesome. It also supports Windows Server 2012 R2. Now the problem is that you can't get this free download because it's still in testing. So you guys actually have to go to Microsoft Connect and uh, create an account. I don't know if it's a free account that you could create, uh, but I'm going to post a link at the description part so you guys could go check that out. Create an account, get a copy, start testing it out. Now, before you even start installing this, you need to download the Windows 8.1 Preview ADK kit and uh, get that up and running uh, again I'm, I'm gonna provide all this information all the links at the bottom of the description as well as if you're not installing it on server 2012 which I am on this video uh, you need to download uh, .NET Framework 3.5 now .NET Framework 3.5 it's already installed or it's part of a feature uh, within server 2012 okay so let's get started let's uh, get into the virtual machine and uh, as you can see, I already have my .NET Framework 3.5. And the way that you install that on Server 2012 is you got your Server Manager up and running. You go to Manage, Add Roles and Features, hit Next, 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 Next. And on this section right here, the features, just make sure you check the .NET Framework. And then you use Install. We're going to cancel this. And we're going to close this. Now, I already installed the... Windows 8.1 ADK. The only reason that I did this beforehand because it took a while. It's 5.5 gigs of information that's being pulled down from the internet to your machine. But I did take some screenshots to show you guys how everything looks. Now, when you double click on that file, you basically get this. Uh, by default, it goes to your C drive. I kind of recommend you put everything onto a partition drive as well as your deployment. But for this video, I'm going to do everything as the default. You hit next. If you want to join this, it's up to you. I hit no, hit next, accept the agreement, hit next. And then by default, you get only five options. You get the deployment tools, the Windows PE, uh, Windows Performance Toolkit, Windows Assessment Services, and the Microsoft SQL Server 2012, which is pretty cool. You got your own database. Now, on the next screenshot, I only thing I did was the USMT and also the VAMT, the Volume Activation Management Tool, which is great when you need to activate things with an, a volume uh, key, as well as if you need to migrate users' profiles over, you could use the migration tool. Okay, hit install. It starts processing, and at the very end, you get this dialog box. Just close it. You're basically about 50% done with the deploying of MDT 2013. Now, I love installing MDT 2013 on a server. A lot of people have installed it within a Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine. Hey, it's up to you. But the reason that I like installing MDT 2013 on a server is because I like to integrate WDS, which is Windows Deployment Services, to Pixie Boot right so uh, I downloaded both versions I'm running a 64 bit of uh, server 2012 so I'm just gonna double click on this bad boy and follow the prompts It's very self-explanatory it's, it's somewhat the same as 2010 I believe so we're gonna hit next leave the default again it's really up to you but I recommend you know relocating it to another partition don't leave it in the C drive but for this video I'm gonna leave everything as is hit install I don't want to join this hit next install and like in a blink of an eye it's real quick real simple it's done I'm gonna hit finish on that and we're gonna hit start now within the start you're gonna see the beautiful tool that everyone knows best within 2010 and 2012 it is the deployment workbench so we're gonna start this up and that's it guys uh, this is how you install MDT 2013. This is only the installation part, so check out the other videos on how to configure and get yourself up and running. And uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Please leave comments below. Please give me likes, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.